speeds of up to one gigabit per second will be available from December on the national broadband network. Now some people might say, what are you going to do with a gig? Well, I don't. No. But I'm willing to bet there's a few people who live here in Gosford who've got a few bloody good ideas about what they can do with that sort of speed. Because that's what fibre optic cable is capable of. It's something that cannot be done on your ageing copper network. You cannot remotely build for the future using the existing copper network. If we keep relying on the copper network, it's been in the ground for 30, 50, 70 years and more. You cannot, you cannot hold Australia back by using that sort of network. So it is a truly great day to switch on the NBN to more than 2,000 homes and businesses here in Gosford. NBN Co has commenced fibre construction to around another 17,000 homes and business in the Gosford area. These include East Gosford, uh, Mount Elliot, North Gosford, Point Clare, Point Frederick, Summersby, Springfield, I could go on. All of these are under construction at the moment. NBN Co expects further services will be switched on for around another 5,000 premises in East Gosford. Uh, Gosford and Springfield from around June onwards and the remaining services will just progressively through the year become active. In the MBN's three-year rollout plan there will be construction commenced or complete for 62,000 premises across the electorate of Robinson by mid-2015. 62,000 premises by mid-2015. But all of this, as many of you would understand, could be under threat if the coalition are elected at the next election. So let's be clear, if the coalition get elected and build and stop the build of the NBN, as I've said they will do, you will have a digital divide here in Gosford. You will have parts of your region connected to a world-class infrastructure of parts that are relying on the old copper. This is not what you want to see. This is not what we want to see for Australia. All Australians deserve to get access to the best education, the best health care, the best age care, the best veterans care, the best cost reductions for small business. Every Australian home and business deserves that. So Labor remains committed to seeing the NBN high speed and reliable and affordable broadband like a utility, like water, like power. We believe broadband is that new utility. And as I said, we believe every Australian should should have access to that. Not if you can afford the up to $5,000 that some are saying you need to connect to a world-class network. So, if I can give you one image to remember over the next few months in the debate, we're building the Sydney Harbour Bridge eight lanes wide. Some others want to build it one lane wide. Imagine if the Sydney Harbour Bridge is just one lane wide. The mess that we would have in Sydney right now today. Well, that's your choice coming months. But today is a day for really celebrating. I wish we could have been here for the ticker tape parade. That would have been pretty cool. Uh, but we'll have to have our own little ticker tape parade here. So I just wanted to finish up by saying congratulations to the leadership and the vision in the local community. This has not come about by accident, if I could stress this. When NBM was looking around the country, where should we start? The areas where we started first were where communities with vision and leadership came together and said, hey, hey, we know what we can do with the National Broadband Network. We have a vision for our residents, for our citizens. And so we're here today because of the leadership of the local council, because of the leadership of people like Dave Abrams, and most importantly, because of the leadership, harassment and stalking of your local member. It was not safe in Parliament House, I promise you, to walk the corridors without Deb grabbing me, getting in my ear and saying, you've got to come to Gosford, you've got to come to Wallington. But we're here today because of that vision and that leadership. I remember the first time I came here before the last election to campaign. We're standing at a pit, David and Deb are nodding, we're standing at a pit, taking some photographs, talking about what might be in the future. Because three, four, five years ago, in some cases 10 years ago, people had the vision for this community. Today, we're delivering on the vision. So thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your strength. I know what it's like. It's a challenge to overcome. People who say, no, oh, no, she'll be right. We can manage. But it takes vision and leadership and strength to deliver something like the National Broadband Network. And that's why we're here today, because of that. So thank you very much.
Thank you, Minister. Thank you. And as, uh, as uh, the Minister alluded, nothing happens in a vacuum. And I say that to my kids too and, uh, you know, at school. And I'm very keen through youth connections in my past to get young people involved. And I think this will bring young people back to the community. But nothing does happen in a, in a vacuum. You do have to organise yourself. And I think our chief organiser for uh, this part of the world, we have to give acknowledge to our very, very capable uh, local member, Deb O'Neill. So, Deb. Thank you, Doug. Deb. Well, first of all, can I uh, thank you, Dave, for those kind words. And uh, can I thank you, uh, Minister Conroy, for joining us today for this great celebration but particularly for opening your door to the team that we took down to put the case for why Gosford deserved a heart-starting infrastructure development. We love this town and we love where we live, but we need jobs. When people drive along the road here and instead of going straight ahead at that roundabout, when they turn left and they've got to hit the F3 and 40,000 people leaving the coast, we know that we needed something to transform this area. Well, thank goodness uh, you have the vision, Minister Conroy, to make that happen. And today we bear those, uh, we bear the fruit of those endeavours, that vision that you have, and our collective teamwork. I'd really like to acknowledge Dave's really significant role in uh, educating the community over a very, very long period of time, and uh, his uh, hard-won but passionate partner in advocacy, uh, Edgar Adams, for the work that you've done with uh, the business community and engaging them in a sense of what might be possible and how we will grow jobs on the coast. I'd also um, very much like to acknowledge that we have Laurie McKenna here as the Mayor of the current Council, who's picked up the ball running at a... Well, I shouldn't say picked up the ball, should I? No hands on the ball. He's kicked goals since he's got in. And, um, and he's definitely made a, a, a great leap of faith and hope in our town by embracing what the NBN can deliver and I also want to acknowledge uh, Paul Anderson and, as our new general manager but I do also uh, want to acknowledge the, the work of the former general manager Peter Wilson and our last mayor Laurie Ma who were in one lockstep with us as we went to Canberra to ask for our community to have the opportunity to showcase what the NBN can do. And this morning, in thinking about what I might say today on this very, very important day, I, uh, I was thinking back to the main street of Gosford, Man Street, a place where you wouldn't think miracles happen. But I actually found out I was pregnant with our daughter, who's now 21, at a surgery in Man Street. When I walked out, knowing I was pregnant, I thought everybody must sense there's something different in the world today because I'm pregnant. And I have that same sense of care for this community. We are pregnant with the NBN. In fact, we're pretty on delivery. We're delivering today 2,300 premises. Businesses and residents, Australians, all of them, who this government believes have a right to access the opportunities of the 21st century. And we don't think you should have to pay to actually be able to get on the NBN and have a go in this 21st century. We believe every Australian deserves it. And as the member for Robertson, I certainly believe that just because you're lucky enough to live in Gosford, and I'm very proud to say that, rather than Copacabana, you are guaranteed to have the NBN. In Copacabana, we want it too. There's only one way that we're going to get that, and as that is with the continuing vision of a Labor government. But today is about celebrating our success and making sure that we acknowledge that Gosford is well and truly open for business. We have uh, places to let at $200 a square metre instead of $300, uh, three, four, five, six hundred dollars a square metre for places with which we compete at the end of the freeway. So it's time to come to Gosford to do business. I'm mindful uh, that the President of the Erina Chamber of Commerce might be not so happy that Gosford is getting so much ahead of Erina. But uh, I do want to make an announcement today. On the back of uh, excellent lobbying by the Erina Chamber of Commerce, in support of a door knocking campaign that uh, I've undertaken with volunteers through Erina and Greenpoint. Uh, we have had fantastic community support to put a business case to NBN to ensure that the Erina area gets a rollout as quickly as possible. And today I'm pleased to announce, and you can go to the NBN website and see that uh, commencing from February 2014, the suburbs of Erina. Erina Heights, Greenpoint, 
Holgate, Matcham and Springfield will be getting the National Broadband Network and that's because we play teamwork here on the coast and we work together to advance our local community. So yes, it's worth a round of applause. It's a great initiative. So uh, without further ado, uh, I think that we're, I'm going to hand over to that great Aussie with a great Aussie voice, I think, uh, uh, Laurie McKinna, our new mayor, who uh, will be the mayor as we turn this on and step right into new possibilities for business in Gosford. I really appreciate you all being here today. I'm so proud of the work that my staff have done behind the scenes to pull this uh, whole journey to today together. There's so many uh, parts that are done in the quietness of a, uh, an office just there in Man Street to make this vision for our community possible. And I acknowledge all of your efforts, very much of it unpaid, and very much of it keeping hope when others would have us fear the future. So to more hope, to more building, to more Gosford Gigabyte City, I'm with you. Thank you. I can't pass up a chance to introduce him because uh, he doesn't need any introduction here, but how fortuitous that uh, the, uh, the, the original coach of the Central Coast Mariners and now our Mayor um, is right here on this, this ground uh, to celebrate with us. Uh, Laurie McKenna, and he's got a few tricks in his bag. Before the official stuff, I'd just like Dave come back up here. As Stephen, Minister Conroy is a big member. He's a big um, get up here. As a big Melbourne Hat fan and a football and a sports fan, I think it's only proper that we present him with his own Mariners shirt. See me win the grand final at the weekend. Thank you, Brendy, for a while. Maybe one day Melbourne Hat can be there as well. Now I'll accept a Melbourne Hat shirt off you. And I think, obviously, I'm a. <laughs> obviously, now being in council for six months, I'm a politician, and um, so I should take all the plaudits for the NDN coming in since I became mayor. So it's all, it's all about me, but it's all the people before me, as Minister Conroy said, and the old mayors, old councillors who work very hard towards this. So it's, it's nothing to do with me. I'm happy to jump on the bandwagon. As Deb said, Gosford Council is open for business under Paul and uh, we're looking forward to kick some goals for the city. But just before again, I'd, I'd like to acknowledge that we're on the land of the Darkajang and Garingai people. I reckon them, I recognise them as traditional owners of this land and pay my respects to past and present elders. And I do apologise for being a wee bit husky, but we had a wee bit of shout to do over the weekend. <laughs> As Mayor of Gosford City, it's my pleasure to be here this morning to celebrate this historic occasion. Today is a significant step on an exciting journey that Gosford City and our community have. The National, Broad ne National Broadband Network coming to Gosford puts us in a unique position. Having early access to NBN will assist Council in attracting growth and development within the Gosford CBD. And I know that's something that's at everybody's heart here, that we want to see this place revitalised and, and buzzing. You know, you want to see this place jumping in. This is certainly going to help us. It will allow us to attract organisations to relocate to what will be an ideal environment to do business. We have been working hard to attract interest in the city centre and the NBN will provide a significant point of difference for prospect developers. And over the last three or four weeks, myself and Paul and the council have been sitting down with local businesses, businesses from the outside who want to come here. And they're riding on the back of NBN, and it's something that we have to be really proud of. This is a major boost to the, for infrastructure and business on the central coast, and we'll look forward to the immense benefit that will be felt across the entire region. A big thank you needs to go for everyone involved in the project. It's been a collaborative effort with Wyong Council, Regional Development Australia, Central Coast, state and federal members, local community groups and business leaders. 
The success of this project today is testimony to the hard work and effort with everybody involved. I look forward to seeing this project continue to run smoothly for the benefit of Gosford and the Central Coast. I think Deb, you just touched on it in February, it's slowly going to spread out there. As we know, coming into council, things don't just happen like that, it takes time. When you're a football coach, you can change things like that. As a councillor, being a councillor, I now know things don't change like that. It takes time, it takes teamwork, and I think it's something that goes for council. I'm glad Gabby's here. Um, she's a bit host as well for the football at the weekend, but it's something that goes for council, working in with, with Deb. We have to work together to achieve anything. If we do things individually, we'll not achieve anything on the Central Coast. That's why on Gosford. And it's just great that I think we've got the sense things can happen here. And hopefully the man of success can show people that the Central Coast can be proud in Gosford and Wyong that we do live here because it's something that I'm proud of. And I'm sure everybody here is. So I look forward to doing as much as we can to support this. It's a great day for the Central Coast. And uh, thanks for coming down and showing your support. Thank you. I think we're actually going to do the uh, the important symbolism now. Uh, so uh, don't go away with for uh, your little historical shots. Get your iPhones out and everything else that has a lens. Um, so I'll invite um, the minister Deb Laurie to come up and uh, and do do some of this, the actual symbolic switch on. So uh, here we go. It's uh, it's the magic footy. Just keeps giving. Alright, three, two, one. Go, yes. it's on! <laughs> NBN is live. There we go. Fantastic. Very good, very good. <laughs> if only I had picked up those skateboard rain for the weekend, they'd be a better shape. <laughs> no, I hear a few people right. running topless at the stadium on Sunday. They were. <laughs> Can you confirm or deny? No, no, no. It's gone viral. It's just an incredible They have. Okay, we're here on the waterfront for the NBN switch on, and um, I've got Laurie McKenna, the mayor of uh, Gosford City. Laurie, big day for the city. Yeah, no, it's a great day for um, for everybody on the coast. You know, MBN coming to town is is going to just change the way thing, the way business can be done on the coast. Save as many people travelling up and down to Sydney. Can work from home, work from um, offices set up in the city centre. So it's going to be great, and it puts us up up the top with a lot of other places who are getting it. You know, it's no we're not thought of as as last off the rank as usual. So it, it's making a bit of a statement about the central coast. And uh, another beautiful day. The sun's shining a bit brighter this week, do you think? Yeah, definitely. Like, how bright can it be? The Mariners have won the grand final. NBN's coming to town. We've got a ticket tape parade on Friday through the streets of Gosford. You know, you can't get much better than that. And, and hopefully shortly we'll have development on the waterfront as well. And, you know, it shows that the city's moving ahead. And you obviously got a good uh, head crew there at the council. They're obviously making the right decisions at the right time. Now, I know you've only been in there recently, but of course... There's good people around you, isn't there? Yeah, like obviously, I was really raw when I started, but getting Paul Anderson on as the general manager, 10 councillors, five of them brand new, they're all pulling on the same rope, you know, we all want the same things, and, you know, it's a real positive time for the city, I think, because we want things to happen, we we don't want to be, not that anybody's done anything wrong in the past, but we just need to move ahead, and um, I think when the waterfront, I know there are a few people against the waterfront, and they've got their own opinions, but... The vast majority of people in, in Gosford and the Central Coast want this to happen, and uh, it'll just everything will just tag on to the end of that. And the NBN, to me, Manners winning the grand final is the first step. NBN, second step. Waterfront's the third step. Thanks very much today, buddy. And uh, I know the, I saw the Lamborghini come down and pass park. So that's the new council car, yeah? <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, I forgot the shirt for the centre here, so I had to get somebody to drive down in the Mirmobile. <laughs> okay. it's, it's not a Lamborghini, but it's a nice car, but it's called the Mirmobile. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Laurie. I appreciate your time. Cheers, Les. Thank you. Cheers.